So what's going on guys, it's the Boxing Boy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the videos. It really is appreciated if you guys could do that for me. So Tyson Fury beats Francis Ngannou by split decision in their showcase fight in Saudi Arabia. The battle of the baddest. Tyson Fury, obviously WBC heavyweight champion. Francis Ngannou, former UFC heavyweight champion in the world. Never had a boxing match in his life. And he just pushed Tyson Fury to the limit in their 10 round fight. Like, he dropped Tyson Fury in the third round. He looked physically stronger than Tyson Fury there at times. Tyson Fury just couldn't work him out. Like, as Tyson Fury not take this, taking this camp seriously, he didn't really look in the greatest shape, Tyson Fury. But, you know, Tyson Fury always looks like a bag of milk, you know, body-wise. But did he take this fight, you know, less serious than others? Did he think, I was just going to blow this guy away in two, three rounds? He's never had a boxing match. I don't think he was expecting the game plan from Francis Ngannou, in my opinion. He was... Probably expecting um, Francis Ngannou to be a little wild, you know, just come at him, throwing punches, and then he would count or, you know, stick him on the end of a jab and just break him down. But no, Francis Ngannou didn't do that whatsoever. You know, he stayed back, you know, Francis Ngannou, um, and was waiting for Tyson Fury to engage with him. And when Tyson Fury would, like, fall in, you know, um, Francis Ngannou would capitalise, and that's what happened with the knockdown in the third round. Like, Tyson Fury came forward on the front foot, he kind of fell in, and Francis Ngannou clipped him on the side of the head and dropped him. It was a great shot. For Tyson Fury, I don't think he was, like, really hurt, but, you know, he definitely felt the punch, and he looked shocked, like, he looked visibly shocked when he hit the canvas, Tyson Fury, because he was not expecting it at all. He was not expecting a fight like that. I don't think anyone was. You know, especially boxing fans, we was not expecting that fight to be competitive whatsoever, never mind how competitive it actually was. Like, you could argue and give Francis Ngannou that fight. It was a close fight. I had Tyson Fury pipping it. I had Tyson Fury nicking the fight. But if you said Francis Ngannou won it by a round or you gave it a draw, you know, no complaints because that's how competitive it was. Like, Francis Ngannou looked better than Dillian White. He looked better than Derek Chisora. He looked better than John A. Wilder, techni technically, anyway. You know, he was just giving Tyson Fury fits in there. Like, he was just frustrating him. Tyson Fury couldn't really work that well. The, the punch that was consistent with Tyson Fury was the jab. He was landing the jab consistently. But any meaningful punches, Tyson Fury couldn't really get them off, you know, because, you know, he would just kind of fall in to Francis Ngannou. And then, you know, Ta uh, Francis Ngannou would wrap him up or he would catch him with a shot as he was falling in. And I think Tyson Fury was a bit wary of the power and the strength of Francis Ngannou, we couldn't bully him, I think Tyson Fury was expecting to bully Francis Ngannou, and he could not do that, so Tyson Fury, for most of the fight, you know, he was the one, you know, on the back foot, you know, from distance, throwing the jab, but he wasn't really doing anything meaningful in there, like, the meaningful punches in the fight were from Francis Ngannou, he was the one who landed the hurtful punches, like, he dropped Fury in the third round, we know that, but he also buzzed him, I think it was in the seventh for the eighth round, he buzzed him with a shot, and Tyson Fury was going, like, Tyson Fury looked hurt, he had to, like, tie up, and hold Francis Ngannou, like, just to get a break, because he looked visibly hurt from the punches Francis Ngannou was landing, so, you know, Tyson Fury, after the decision was read, he realised that he, you know, by the skin of his teeth, got that decision, and he looked a little bit embarrassed, to be honest, there was no singing at the end of the fight or anything like that. You know, the usual Tyson Fury stuff, calling out Alexander Usyk, who was there, calling him a bum or anything like that. No, there was none of that. Tyson Fury looked visibly annoyed with himself, you know, from that performance. Like, he was not expecting, you know, Francis Ngannou to come in like that tonight at all. And you could see that he was looking a bit embarrassed. Like, he was marked up, like, his demeanour, he was just like, you know, it's one of them, I've been out the ring, a bit rusty, you know, he was awkward and stuff like that. Like, Tyson Fury was just not expecting it whatsoever. And then when asked about the Usyk fight, that like he's been saying, oh, I want it on the 23rd of December and I'm going to be ready, I'm just going to take care of Nagano and then we can go straight into that fight on the 23rd of December. He said after the fight he needs a break, he needs a long break because that fight, you know, tonight was taxing on him in my opinion you know he was marked up you know he was getting bullied around at times you know it was looked like a torrid fight for Tyson Fury it was definitely one of the hardest fights of his career definitely one of the hardest fights of the past decade for him like like I said you could get you could have gave Francis Ngannou the decision and that is just not a good look for boxing a guy who's never had a pro boxing fight you know I know he's the former UFC heavyweight champion and he was knocking everyone out and he was known for his striking and stuff like that but to fight the world heavyweight champion of the world, arguably 
the best fighter in the world, people saying Tyson Fury is a generational talent, and to put on that kind of performance, Francis Ngannou should be so proud of himself. He should be so proud of that performance. Yeah, he lost. And a lot of people felt like he shouldn't have lost, that he should have got the decision. He's probably a bit disappointed, but, you know, he can um, hold his head up high because he looked fantastic in there. He, Like I said, he looked better than every Tyson Fury opponent from the last 10 years, technically, anyway, because Tyson Fury just couldn't work him out. And people could say, yeah, Tyson Fury, you know, he didn't take it seriously and he was not in the greatest shape. Like, no excuses, in my opinion, because you're fighting a guy who has never had a pro boxing match. You're meant to go in there as the boxer and be the dominant one, but he wasn't. Like I said, he picked it at best. So, you know, boxing, you know, took a serious hit tonight, in my opinion, because, you know, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world couldn't do anything, really, to put a dent in Francis Ngannou. Didn't hurt him once in the fight. Francis Ngannou's got some serious chin on him. He's got some serious chin on him because he took some heavy shots from Tyson Fury, like straight right hands and stuff, and he just took it. But like I said, the more meaningful, hurtful punches were from Ngannou. You know, he was the one who had Tyson Fury hurt a couple of times. So, you know, a 10-round fight, Tyson Fury was lucky there. Very, very lucky to get that decision. And do not expect the Alexander Usyk fight in December. Do not expect that fight in December because that is not going to happen now. Tyson Fury, we'll be lucky if we see Tyson Fury back by the summer. Because, you know, I think his ego is a little bit bruised from that. And he might not even take the Usyk fight. He might want to fight Ngannou again. Because his ego definitely took a hit tonight. You know, Tyson Fury, he's the one screaming that he's the man. He's No one can beat me. I'm the greatest heavyweight of all time. And you go in there with a guy who's never had a professional boxing match. And he almost beats you. You know, he takes you to the limit in there. He drops you. He hurts you. He makes you look terrible at times then. You know, for your ego, that's got to hurt. Especially someone like Tyson Fury who is known for having a big ego for having a big ego and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just one of them, innit? Like it was just one of them. You're watching it and you're thinking, what is happening? What is happening right now? Because it just you just weren't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting Ngarni to come out, you know, first couple of rounds, you know, show a bit of heart, show a bit of grit, and then Tyson Fury slowly chop him down and get the stoppage in about the sixth, seventh round, in my opinion. Because I know Francis Ngannou is a tough guy. I know he's not going to get blasted out of there. But, you know, the performance he put on to make it so competitive, like I said, he should be so proud of his performance. And I'd love to see him fight in a boxing match again. And I was not saying that two hours ago. I was saying, ugh, you know, former MMA guy, you know, how long is he going to last? But, boy, he looked good in there. Like, I'd put him in there with someone like Dylan White or Derek Chisora tomorrow because he looked that good technically. So, yeah, man, Tyson Fury, <sighs> ego... Right now, must not be feeling very well. Must not be feeling very good because, like I said, he looked visibly embarrassed, and I would be as well as the WBC heavyweight champion to almost lose to a guy who's never had a professional boxing match. So, yeah, it is what it is. Comment below in the comment section. What did you guys think? I'm out.